something, and it took time, but it's often worth that time and effort when you know you're you're able to make something where the creative team behind it gets to make it the way that they want without any interference, which is a huge and part. I, I think that's probably the best aspect of, of this company or any company that's doing this sort of thing is that these are clearly project fueled projects. This is not about what celebrity's name can we get above the title on the poster. Project comes first, and generally speaking, you guys make really raw movies. Uh, Greasy Strangler, it, it is, you know, these are really raw films, so I'm wondering between the talent that you do bring in, uh, and even internally, externally, whatever, is there ever any concern with the content coming across? Or do you say, criticism be damned, we're making this movie no matter what? Is there ever a moment where you go, you know what guys, we make genre films, they're supposed to be crazy, this scene might be a little too much, uh, or this needs to get a little nuttier to, to, to fit into the, into the form. I think I'm the one saying, guys, please, this is too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and Elijah's going, more! I think, <laughs> look, I think it, it, it all depends on the film and the filmmaker and what is necessary for that. In right. Piece. With something like the Greasy Strangler, <laughs> inherently it is what it is, right? So. I, I don't know that there's any pulling that back or pushing that forward. It, 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 it was very much in Austin's universe, right. in his world, and whatever he needed to, to make that movie what it was going to be. We're certainly there to give notes on the script and sort of help push things in, in directions that we think will make the movie better. Mm -hmm. But in terms of more or less, it's ultimately what the movie demands and what the filmmaker feels the movie demands. And I don't think we're there to like push it either way as long as it's about what the filmmaker needs and what the film needs, I think. I've literally never heard a movie producer say that before. That's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's why we make great movies. It's just too... It, well, I, I can't see any other way, though, because right. ultimately we want to get behind these people because we want to support the thing that they do and not get in the way of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, there's this, there's this term that in... in the movie business, they say a four-quadrant film. A four-quadrant film is a film that is... Uh, the, the four quadrants are over and under 35 male-female. And the, 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 the ideal, uh, at a studio level, is that you're making a film that appeals to all four quadrants. And those are the movies that... The Marvel films, the, the, the movies that I'm sure a lot of you are here to celebrate. Um, what we often talk about is that not every film has to hit all four quadrants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's okay to make a film that hits one quadrant <laughs> or half a quadrant. Those are people too. And, and, uh, and when you make those kinds of films, I think the difference is the author of a studio film is the studio. Mm -hmm. The author of an independent film is the director. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest distinction. And you know, we're living in a time when the studio studio films are very dominant, and indie films are increasingly less. Welcome, is everybody having a great Comic Con so far? Thank you for being here. Uh, I, I don't know what we'll talk about. We have nothing prepared and nothing to promote. So, uh, this week, ladies and gentlemen, we got a brand new movie coming out called James Allen Bob Reboot. And this fool is unbelievably wonderful in the movie, man. Uh, when I come to these things, I tend to hog the mic for a while. Yes. Um, in real life, the roles of Jay and Son and Bob are kind of switched. Uh, I talk a lot and he makes a lot of faces in the real world and shit, but today, I'm gonna let him talk and I'm gonna try not to fucking say anything. I'm gonna go Silent Bob so we can actually hear from Jason News. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, been playing Jay for 25 years. Jason uh, what am I talking about? Am I, is this not a Q&A? It's just chatting. We can Q&A. We can Q&A. Q &A. Q &A. But anyway, I'm super stoked to be here, man. I love comic book conventions yeah, I know. in general. Talking? I really do. Um, I, I try to go to as many that I can. Um, I love shopping around. You might have seen me out there before I came early so I could walk the floor and check out some uh, stuff. Um, this one's amazing. Um, and it's close to my home, so that's always good. Woo! 
But uh, I do see you. I'm the one that always talks, ladies and gentlemen. Why? I'm telling the truth, man. You I'm telling the truth. Yeah, right. I'm excited Sing to be your here. Truth. Tell them your truth. Um, I'm excited you guys are here for the movie. We've been doing this for uh, the last uh, like 10 days. We've been doing a bunch of press for the movie. I'm super stoked uh, that it's coming out. And, and then we get to go on the tour. So it's like we got this build up for me, personally. Talk for myself. Um, is that the last 10 days been like, wake up at 7, go here and do this interview, do this interview, do this panel, do this stage thing. And then I, then the movie premieres, and I'm going to be like, yes, Monday night. And then we go on tour for 62 shows, correct? Tour, 62, 65, we get to watch the movie with Peeps, and then do a Q&A afterwards. Fathom Events, we're also doing 15, 17. This is really cool, sorry, I got to show this while I'm here because... I have not personally seen this in person because no one ever gave me one. But I'm so excited I finally have another motherfucker. Hey! Because this mother oh we could curse, right? Maybe. This guy, yeah, there's kids in the room. This guy has like six pops now. We had Jay and Bob way back. This one. Thank you. Right? So we had this one and which was super exciting for me to have. Um, and then they like, I guess, discontinued them or put them in the vault, they call it. Um, they're hard to get, I guess. Um, and then Kevin came out another one, and then another one, and then another one, and another one. And no more Muse, but now we have the Blunt Man in Crime. Yeah! Where can they find them? Anywhere? You can find us at Jane Saul Bob's Secret Stash. Or nope. no, no, they <laughs> I don't know where you can find this. Where did you find this? stores. FYE, they put them up online and they sold out instantly. So I think you have to go into the stores to find them at this point. But they're going pretty fast. Um, I see a bunch of people have them in the crowd and stuff. Yeah. If you catch us, I'm happy to, to tag them. And like you said, I've been popped many times. So I walk very quickly. Yes. So. Um, we are doing something uh, kind of special, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right after this. Uh, the suitcase is on stage because uh, we brought our outfits, man, our Jane Silent Bob. That's right, you're not the only ones that can fucking cosplay, we're doing it too. Uh, after we're done with the panel, we're going to go over to the quick stop, there's a pop-up quick stop, and we're all going to take a picture together, man. Uh, we'll be in our costumes, you'll be in yours, and we'll memorialize the day. It's a big weekend for us, man, uh, with the movie coming out, but more importantly, uh, on Monday morning, um, me and Jay are putting our hands in the cement at the Chinese theater. Super stoked about that. Oh my Thank God. You. Thank you. Uh, it starts at like 10.30 in the morning. It's open to anybody. Feel free. My mom is flowing at flying in for yeah. and stuff. Um, my whole family, because when I was a kid, I was nine years old. Uh, me and my mom, my dad, my brother and sister, they took us on a train across country and shit. We were poor, so we couldn't fly anywhere. We took like a long journey across country to come to California. So I always loved the entertainment business. I loved Hollywood and stuff. And we didn't have an internet back then or even cable TV. So the only way you could interact with that stuff was like um, if they did a section, entertainment section on the news at night or in the newspaper, like the arts and leisure section. Um, or you could read like movie magazines and shit. So we came out here when I was nine, 1979, and I got a picture uh, that my dad took of so me cute. and my brother like kneeling in front of R2D2 and C3PO's footprints. They just kind of went into the cement at the Chinese is like back in the, in the 70s, 1979. So now, 40 years after we took that picture, we're gonna put our handprints in the cement, man. Thanks to you. And then I, I, you know, I, I, one of the first things I did, like my, one of my first like showbiz Hollywood meetings, was like it was like uh, I was with the manager, and they were like, I was like, what would you do if you had a show? And I was like, well, I would bring back Mystery Science Theater 3000, and then they laughed at me. What? But who's laughing now? The audience. Yeah, it's true. It Rub the suits' faces in the ground. Yeah, all it took was 10 years later and profit margins and nostalgia to go way up. <laughs> So how did you guys get involved in this version? Um, funny story, I was at a Comic-Con in Seattle, uh, no, not Seattle, uh, Salt Lake City, and I saw Joel in the green room, and as I said, my brother is even a bigger fan than I am, and I saw Joel Hodgson, I was like, I'm gonna rub my brother's face in this. 
And I said, I'm going to get a selfie with Joel. So that's the only reason I'm on the show, y'all. <laughs> is I self-selfied with Joel. And he was like, hey, wh what do you do? And I was like, I told him what I do. I do a lot of internet stuff. I also am on shows like Supernatural. And <laughs> few people Woo! know what Jensen smells like. Okay. Um, so uh, I told him, and then uh, about a couple months later, he just sent me an email, said, hey, you want to be in the show? And it was uh, the, the only other equivalent email that made me squeal so much was when Joss Whedon sent me an email. It's like, can you sing Dash J? And that's when I got a job in uh, Dr. Horrible. Yeah, I don't ever get jobs through legitimate means. <laughs> For me, it was uh, I, I met Joel uh, when I, I, he was a guest on the Nerdist podcast, uh, and then um, basically he just uh, I, I ran into him at an art show the next night, and then I saw him you go to art shows. I, I'm very I, I eat croissants and go to art shows. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I saw him at an art show for Wayne White, uh, who's an incredible artist, and then I saw, uh, I saw him at a live taping of the Harmon Quest podcast, this was there hanging out, and he was... It's, uh, it just came out, it was a bestseller last week, so thanks to everybody. And the New York Times bestseller, my mom was semi-proud of me, she was like, why aren't you a higher number? I'm like, thanks, mom. I wonder where I get my perfectionism issues from. But good thing I worked them out in this book. Um, yeah, so it's a really fun book, and I, I did it because after I wrote my memoir, you have never been on the internet, almost, so many people told me they started creating because of me, or got help because of anxiety or depression because of me, and I was like, oh, that seems worthy, and uh, let's just, yeah, I, I want to do more about other people than just talk about myself. Does that mean you've inspired fan fiction? Maybe you inspired that picture. I mean, I certainly, like, like I said, part of, there's a little section of the book, like, just being, being playful and just being creative is really important. It's like a form of self-care, and I think it's really important for people to have that in their lives. And if you need a jump start by doing fan fiction, uh, hopefully about, not about me and, a, and an animal, but, um, or a robot, uh, that would be good. <laughs> well, don't stifle your own creativity, because someone might call you weird, though. No. Don't shame people. No.